Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day number 46. As always, thanks for tuning in, for watching these uh, videos, and for subscribing to my YouTube channel, and of course, for all the great feedback. It is sincerely appreciated. Uh, and in today's Tip of the Day, I am going to show you how you can import models from Team Fortress 2 that are not included with Source Filmmaker. You can apply this same technique to a lot of other um, Valve games, any source games that include model files that you might want to use in Source Filmmaker. Uh, the basic technique is the same. As you can see, I've imported a, um, a boss uh, uh, soldier bot into this uh, scene here to demonstrate that it does work. Now in order to do this you're going to need a tool called GCF Scape. I've talked about it before and you can find it by doing a quick Google search for GCF Scape. Uh, I will post a link to where you can obtain it in the uh, uh, video description as well. Uh, GCF Scape allows you to uh, open GCF files they will be found in your program files steam steam apps folder and then you will find a number of gcf files and in the case of the one that we want here is team fortress to materials.gcf as you can see there are actually multiple gcf files associated with uh, team fortress 2 the one that you want for all of the models like all of the hats that you want and all of the uh, uh, all of the weapons and the new skins and all the stuff that isn't in Source Filmmaker's base distribution, all of that stuff is going to be in Team Fortress 2 materials.gcf. So you're going to open that. And then you will look in here and you can what you will find inside a GCF file is it is essentially a file system. Uh, effectively what Valve does is they take all of the materials, all of the models, all the files that a game needs and they cram it all into one big file and they call it a GCF. Uh, I don't know what it stands for. I assume it's something like game cache file or game container file. Don't know. Don't really care either. But inside is this list of folders, and it's just like the file system on your computer. You can navigate the, the folders and stuff, and you will find that there's tons and tons of stuff here. Uh, and you will need all of these files in the TF folder. And the way to get them out is to right-click in GCF file, or excuse me, in GCF scape, and select Extract and then you will pick a location to extract them to. Uh, I would extract it to a uh, to just some arbitrary location that has plenty of space because they are it's going to uh, spend probably in my case it's spent about 10 or 15 minutes extracting them all. So I'm not going to take you through that process, uh, but you'll get a window that shows the progress and it will just keep on counting for a while and all of the files in all of these subfolders will be extracted there so you will end up with a folder that has a TF folder and then you'll have a materials and models and a sound folder. Now there's two things you can do at that point. The first one is to um, place the files in your TF folder and just re um, have it merge the contents with the materials, models, and uh, actually uh, sounds folders here in the game TF thing. That's easiest. I haven't tried that myself and I don't necessarily recommend it because whenever Source Filmmaker is updated it can over override the contents of that folder because that's kind of managed by Source Filmmaker so you're going to want to be cautious with that but you can just drop your model files in there and as long as you have the materials and models folder you should be okay. The sound folder is pretty much optional I believe but you're definitely going to want the materials and models folder uh, because that without the both of them you won't be able to spawn the models in game. Uh, or in Source Filmmaker. The uh, the next thing you're going to want, uh, the, the one, the way I did it and the way I typically recommend you do it is to create a new folder and I called this one TF2 Models, but you can call it whatever you like. Uh, and then you can put your materials, models, and sound folder in there. Are the contents of the file you extracted. Now, note that you need to actually make it a direct child of the fo folder. We are in uh, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker, Game, and then we have files like TF, TF underscore movies, TF2 models. Let's assume you create one called TF2 models. You have to put it in direct subfolders. You have to have a materials, a models, and a sound folder. They have to be direct children of whatever this thing is. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is to go into the user mod folder and you're going to want to open gameinfo.txt. You'll want to open it in Notepad or your favorite text editor. And then you're going to want to go down here and you will find a thing here that says Search Paths. 
Be careful editing this file. You might want to make a backup of it just in case you screw up, but it's kind of hard to mess it up. Effectively, what these search paths are is these are where Source Filmmaker is going to look for your model folders. So if you want to add more folders, more custom folders, for example, you've got a bunch of custom models and you don't want to mix them up with your TF folders or something like that, or you want to organize stuff a little bit better. Well, this is a way to do it. You go in here and you're going to just type, um, you'll just type game and I believe it is case sensitive. So game and then hit the tab key a few times and line it up and uh, you might say my model folder like that. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to save this because I've already done this before, but the idea is that you have to type game and then the name of a folder, and this folder has to be a child of Source Filmmaker Game. Okay, so Source Filmmaker Game, and so Source Filmmaker Game TF2 Models, or Source Filmmaker Game uh, My Model Folder, or Source Fil Filmmaker Game slash Fliberty Gibbet, whatever you want to call it is, is kind of irrelevant. Uh, the, the trick is that it does need to be the same name. Once you've done that, you should either uh, shut down and restart Source Filmmaker, uh, or possibly you can use the rescan function. I think you have to restart Source Filmmaker so it will reread the gameinfo.txt. But once you've done that, you can just go create an animation set for a new model. And uh, one thing that I noticed, and I'm still not totally clear on why, but if you notice up here at the top, it actually shows TF2 models in here, but even though those files are in TF2 models, it doesn't show it, it doesn't filter them properly. I have to actually either select TF or all mods. And I think it is because these files are flagged as being part of the TF game, so it looks for them as children of the TF folder in this browser. Uh, but regardless, the, the organization on the disk is mainly just to keep the files separate. So whenever they update Source Filmmaker, you don't want it to clobber all your stuff and have to go re-extract all the files and put all the files in your in your child folder and stuff again. This makes it a little easier, kind of keeps things slightly separated so you don't accidentally end up getting files clobbered by Source Filmmaker updates. Uh, so that's uh, uh, you'll want to either look in all mods or in uh, TF, depending on how you feel about it. And so let's see, I'll go ahead and spawn a pyro, a pyro model. So there's the... Uh, the pyro bot. And what's interesting to me, and, and this is just sort of a, uh, a strange thing, is that the, uh, uh, the bots come in red and blue skins, but we never see them except with the, uh, um, hello. Oh, I see, I pulled them outside the window, outside the, uh, the area. Come on now. Oh, yeah. Some days, some days, I tell you. Come here, Mr. Pyro. Do, do, do. Let's go. There he is, he said. Oh, this is annoying. Get inside the box. My goodness. <sighs> Fun. Okay, so there, finally. <laughs> Stupid thing. Anyway. Um, I find it interesting that there are red and uh, blue skins for these things. That's just a, a, a thing that I noticed. There's actually four skins. Ha, four skins. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, so, yeah, the, you've got the uber skins and you've got the uh, um, red and blue. Even though we only see blue in Man vs. Machine, it makes me wonder if we're ever going to see red in some sort of variant of Man vs. Machine. But, uh, anyway, that's neither here nor there. The point is, though, that is how you can obtain uh, models out of GCF files and add them to Source Filmmaker. Uh, to recap, you use GCF Scape to extract the files. You put the materials and models folder as a subfolder of an existing search path, either uh, the user mod TF or a custom folder. Then you modify your game info.txt to a filmmaker, uh, and all should be good. And apparently, my video driver crashed. So. Uh, that's all for now. This is this has been your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day number 46. I am your host, Jimmer Linz. I look forward to bringing you the next Tip of the Day. And in the meantime, enjoy using Source Filmmaker. Have a great day.